So, welcome to part 3 of this series. In this uh, video I will be configuring Thermux and making it work like from my phone, from my laptop, like to connect remotely. Yeah, so let's start. Watch the other parts if you didn't. And let's now we'll need a normal keyboard and click F7. Okay, it closed. Yeah, I had it connected to my laptop now. Not to the. Okay, now clo uh, click F7. No. Sometimes it works directly and sometimes it... No, I... Okay, I think we can do it with the mouse also. Yeah, okay, now we go to settings. Thermos. I.O. Yeah. So, keyboard disabled. And now it will work correctly. Finally, okay. Now we type Thermux. Uh, set up storage. No. Now allow. Okay, it's working. Now we'll need to go to the main screen again. Now we go to more apps, like this button. Now we search for Thermux Boot. No. Okay, Thermux Boot, I found it. Now I need to copy this now we go to the thermox and type mkd And then hold right mouse scroll button and paste. Now we go again to the main screen. Apps. And again boot. Now we copy this Yeah, I think I copy this Let's go to Thermux again Now I will delete Encadir here And type in Nano Now we paste here thing that we copied Control X Y Enter. Now we need to install uh, SSH Open SSH. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. We'll uh, to solve this, we just type pkg uh, update. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Okay, we need to generate this. Oh, also, we'll type. APT install open SSL just in case SSAD maybe no yes SSH okay I figured why it didn't work so you just need to type a name for the file for example key and now uh, type a password okay now it's working so for me it still didn't work no I don't I know why so uh, you now we have written like a password and after this we need to type this command and put better the same password uh, that we used for the ssh key gen and then restart our device and it finally will work who knew that's all for this part finally okay so thank you for watching see you next time